If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys, you just saw on the screen uh, the best pull that I have had in quite some time here on Madden Ultimate Team. Not the best pull of all time by any means, like a, I don't know, like a 125,000 coin pull. I pulled it in a random pro pack this morning when I got on and that was about it. So uh, I opened up one pack, I got that and that was the end of it. I, I pretty much... I would say probably maybe like five to six days a week we'll hop on Madden and just buy one random pro pack. That's one of the ways that I got uh, a, another really good pull. I'm trying to remember. I, I, hmm, I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it was in Madden 25 though. I got another just like random really great pull in the middle of the night uh, just pulling a random pro pack. So that's not all that uncommon. But uh, I didn't have a live reaction to it, and I'm not somebody who likes to fake reactions. So uh, you guys saw just the video capture of me uh, after the fact in the pack. So you see that I actually did pull it. But uh, I don't know. Pretty cool pull, I think. I'm going to actually go in here, though, guys, and open up some more packs. So uh, let's get into that. Guys, today we have new Ultimate Legends in the game. We've got Deion Sanders and Reggie White. Both boss cards are able to be pulled in packs right now. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get new packs today. Yesterday, there were Rookie of the Year packs in the game, and they are still in the game. I bought all of them, so if you want to go back and watch the five rookie pack opening video, go ahead and check that out yesterday's video. Uh, I did upload all five of those, or I did open all five of them and upload the video. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't really have any more of the uh, the standard or the uh, upgraded packs that we can upload today. So, we're going to have to just go through pro packs. Of course, I could buy a bundle, but I mean, at this point in the year in Madden, I honestly don't think it's worth it, especially when I'm sitting there with 3.9 million coins. It's just not feasible for me to spend more money on the game and get more coins that way I mean the best thing for me to do at this point is to go in and open up pro packs and I kind of feel that's the way for everybody right now if you're somebody that uh, is you know interested in continuing to build your mutt team this year if you've got four million coins I would probably say not to you know open up uh, packs with money at this point I would probably buy players and open up pro packs I mean uh, I mean obviously guys if you if you're somebody that does uh, YouTube of course, opening packs is kind of something that you've got to do, you know, just to kind of stay involved in the in the whole thing. We'll put this draft badge in. Um, but, you know, that's honestly, that's probably the biggest reason that I open up packs at this point. Um, it's just for entertainment purposes, to be completely honest with you. Like, I know for a fact that opening packs is not typically going to be profitable. Like, if you look at the vast majority of the packs that I open... I almost always get absolutely nothing out of them, and I don't think that's necessarily because uh, EA is trying to screw me or anything like that. It's just one of those things where the pack odds this year just aren't very good. So uh, to open up packs, in my opinion, is not really the way to go. Typically, you're not going to pull anything. Obviously, I did get that Joe Hayden that you saw at the beginning of this video just by opening up a random pro pack, but if you consider the fact that that Joe Hayden is worth what? Let me try and calculate in my head. Um, see here 10 i mean it's worth like 15 or so pro packs basically and we'll open up 15 pro packs probably or more in this video and most likely we're not going to pull anything good so it's like it's pretty much a wash to pull something that good in the game so my personal opinion is that if you're spending money opening packs in this game uh, or not spending money spending coins to open up packs in this game and you're not a youtuber i think you're doing it wrong um, obviously, like I said, for YouTubers, it makes a lot of sense for us to open up packs for multiple different reasons to help grow our channel because people like to watch pack opening videos. But uh, if you're somebody that is not a YouTuber and you're just trying to build your mutt team, opening packs is not the way to go in this game. Seriously. And I'm, I'm going to say that and then I'm going to pull like a boss legend or something like that and have to negate everything that I said. Uh, but, you know, chances are I'm not going to pull anything great out of this pack opening video today. That's just the way that things are in Madden this year. Um, I mean, obviously, we did get the Joe Hayden, so I guess I shouldn't say I pulled nothing. But um, didn't get a live reaction out of that one, unfortunately. I'm really frustrated about it, too, because uh, typically I, I, I record myself opening almost all of my packs that I open. But like I said at the beginning, 
there are probably like one or two packs maybe a day that i'll open that i don't oh nice we get a chris ivory movers card okay that's a pretty decent pull. I know it's not worth a lot, but a 95 overall, hey, I will definitely take a 95 overall. Um, but like I said, I don't typically uh, I don't typically up upload or to do a lot of packs without uploading the video. So you guys pretty much get to see everything that I that I open in packs for the most part. Uh, definitely when I do any sort of specialty packs, I always record it. Um, and you guys see, I mean, the odds are that I'm not going to pull anything great. I mean, this is this is a good pull for me. This is a really good pull because it's actually a decent quality card. I mean, if you look at the attributes on this thing, 94 speed, 95 excel, great carrying, great trucking. All that stuff is really, really good on this card. I'm assuming he's just ass at catching and stuff. Yeah, catching, route running, I bet it's going to be awful. Spec catch, all that stuff's going to be terrible, I'm assuming. Let's see here. Yeah, spec catch, 55. Catching traffic, 58. Route running, 44. Okay, he is about the exact opposite of Reggie Bush. So, uh, my, by the way, I do have a, a signature Reggie Bush. I should show you guys real quickly. Um, one of my friends actually donated this to me. and Not, not a subscriber or anything like that. One of my actual like friends that i talk to on a regular basis you guys have probably seen him in videos and stuff that we've done uh we refer to him as nick jr i would be nick senior uh because that's my name obviously and he's nick as well he just he's uh quite a bit younger than than me uh so that's why we refer to him as nick jr but uh he actually went in and finished all the solo challenges for journey five and got me this clinton portis uh, obviously i i threw him a couple bucks to do that for me but um, then uh, we also opened up, or we, he also bought us the uh, Reggie Bush card, the signature card. Now, if you guys don't know, Reggie Bush is probably one of my absolute favorite players of all time. Uh, I absolutely love Reggie Bush. Amazing, amazing athlete, in my opinion. Um, you know, obviously, he doesn't have the most balanced stats, I wouldn't say. But if you look at his actual attributes for the things that I like to do, he is freaking unreal. 98 speed, 101 acceleration. Now, if you go back and watch my video where I talk about uh, over 100 attributes, um, I'm not really for certain that those things make any difference. I'm pretty sure in speed they don't, but uh, in acceleration, I don't think they would as well. But it could for agility, elusiveness, juke move. I, like, I really don't know. I can't really conclusively prove that one way or another. So uh, I just look at it and I say 99 for all of those attributes. And, and he's amazing in all of those things. You know, you look at the speed and the agility and the acceleration um and the juke move and, and that kind of stuff I, I wonder what his spin move i want i want to look at that real quickly sorry if i'm uh taking too much time on this guys but uh 97 spin move yeah so spin move is something that i do a lot i know it's not the most effective thing in this year's game juke move is better but i just have always been really good at the spin move and timing it and getting kind of uh good animations and you'll see a couple of those in my gameplay video that i'll upload i think tomorrow um so be on the lookout for that but uh guys I really personally uh, think that Reggie Bush is like perfect for my play style in this game. So that's why he, when he got it for me, I was pretty excited. Uh, he actually sniped it, I think, for like 400,000 coins or something like that, he was telling me. So uh, pretty good value on that Reggie Bush card. I could definitely sell it and make a profit, but uh, because he sniped it and gave it to me, that's probably going to be my running back for pretty much the rest of this year. Uh, him and Clinton Portis combined, Portis just isn't worth enough. Uh, it, is, it isn't worth it to sell it, in my opinion. Uh, he's a 99 overall with nice attributes. Uh, he's not the best card in the game or anything, but he's good enough, certainly, to be my backup running back. So with him and Reggie Bush, I think that we've got a pretty good combo of players. And then obviously for my third string running back, I have Dre Archer. A lot of speed in that backfield, man. Not a lot of power, though. So we might have to consider moving that Chris Ivory somewhere into the lineup, maybe as like a backup fullback or something like that, so that we can get him on the field in those type of situations where we need short yardage. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm just quick sell. Well, you know what? We'll keep it. I don't know. I, I don't think those things go for anything, but I just want to make sure before I quick sell it. But um, yeah, so not a lot of great pulls in this uh, pack opening video. We did get to Chris Ivory, obviously. We got Joe Hayden. Uh, so some decent cards there, but uh, not really anything huge as of yet. It would be great if we could pull that Eric Weddle. I know that thing's going for a decent chunk of change, as well as either of the boss cards. But um, and, and then obviously the all rookie stuff, like. I'm not sure on those collectibles, man. I, I like that they are doing a new style of collectibles or sets for uh, for the all-rookie players. It's not just, like, collect a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, various different things like the Memorial Day badges and stuff. Like, you actually have to go in and, and collect the individual players' badges, which I kind of think is cool. But in um, that way, you can sell the ones that you don't like and keep the ones that you want. 
but at the same time though i just i feel like you're still just losing out for the most part on doing those i mean the collectibles go for so much more than the card does you know so i don't know i just don't think it's really worth it to do but We'll continue on here, guys. We're probably going to open up like three more pro packs, and then we will wrap up today's video. Guys, I am going to be doing some gameplay here on the channel. I've already recorded it and edited it and everything like that. Just needs to upload. So it should be up here in the next couple of days. Uh, if not tomorrow, I'm thinking is probably when I'm going to upload it. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then we'll also do some more stuff with Mutt here as well. Um, oh, we get a uh, Max Unger. I got an Elite, so I got excited about that. Okay, a Rookie of the Year with Odell Beckham collectible. That's the best one, I think. So, uh, that's actually not a bad pull. This is a good pack. You got an elite and a collectible of Odell Beckham Jr. So, that's probably the best pack that we've had. Maybe the Chris Ivory pack, I guess, is probably the best. But, um... All right, one more, guys, and then we will wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for all the support. And we get a Julius Peppers collectible there and not much else. So we've got two Rookie of the Year collectibles in the final two packs. Not too shabby. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Click that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.